you, we bring up the word, the, the B word, uh, and we was referencing Dawn, but how about this and what no one really talks about? And I, I, I guess we target Dawn because we feel like she's responsible for the group demise, right? Well, I, I don't feel like but, she's Well, I mean, like fans or public, oh, it's, yeah, not, it's not popping, you know, right. without her. But Terry was the one who told me oh. she had to go. Come on, somebody. Yeah. This is what I dislike about this involved dynamic. And I love him. Oh my gosh, I love him. And, and but it seems to me wait, like wait, 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 Kareem. let's also keep in mind, let's not forget this by the court. Terry was sleeping with Uh-huh. Yes. All right. I don't allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. But here's the thing though. So Terry. Okay, hold on. Let me get this dynamic right. So they need a girl, another female, because Max is gone, right? She says she, the uh, manager is not supporting her. So they get a new girl. She leaves. It's Ron. Then Ron is in with them, testing the waters. And listen, this is why I love Ron. Ron, if there's one word that Ron has said throughout the whole entire, what, 20 years now she's been in this group, maybe? 15, 17, 17. She is consistent, or where now she brings consistency within this group. But now I'm here to tell you, I would have jumped ship from In Vogue a long time ago when we recorded records and we had issues with uh, contracts or record companies that wanted to sue us for a hundred million dollars. I would have jumped ship when they kicked me out the group and told me that the, the original four is coming back and we about how you feel about it. You, you're going to sit back and watch us perform for those two or three years. I would have jumped ship after that. So my thing is, and then when Rona joined the group, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't mean to say it this way, but she brings a certain aesthetic to the group that is not what we know about in vogue. And I think it's just the way that she is um, dressed or styled that I think is kind of somewhere not cohesive with the other ladies, but I, I, I think it's the height. I, and, no. and I think it's by design. It's the height. It's, by, it's the height. It's, and the it's by design. It's the feel that, you know, it looks like, and we bring up uh, DJ Spin again, when DJ uh, Spin was saying like, hey, y'all give me these sloppy clothes, like, y'all get the nice stuff off the racks, and then I got to get what's left over. I don't mm. know how feel. Mm. Okay. Is, is that I love the fact that I think she's kind of like the Mary Wilson in the group. She's kind of like the Michelle in the group. And who's the other lady? Michelle. And what's the other lady name? I can't yeah, think of her. Michelle. Michelle who? Michelle. Michelle and that's <laughs> No, because Rona can keep up knows. with the steps. But Rona they, can keep up with them steps. True, but what I'm saying is, is <laughs> Rona knows her role and she plays it. And oh, yes. and, and I, I think that's it. what I mean. Like, because some of the things that Mary Wilson did to uh, Florence Ball, I'm, I'm done with that one. But anyway, so my thing is, is this. She understands it. And that's why I respect Rona, because over time, I have come to get adjusted to well. how she bring what she brings to the group and what she offers in the group but i'm with everybody i'm with the original four but at the end of the day to satisfy the fans and to satisfy everyone's pockets everybody get paid just go get paid but, but <laughs> can, can i make this point can i make this point though that would be the difficult part. that's the hurdle right there we mm. broke up because of ego and money Mm -hmm. How do we split this money now going in with two of y'all on this main that we all four built? Okay, yeah, we love Maxine got sued. Okay. Now we all she got saying, sued. Don been saying. left multiple times. Okay, I respect now. I, I agree with Kiki. Rona is a cold-blooded dancer. Rona and a cold -blooded. Is she cold. is a cold, but guess what? One thing about it, what, what makes it different is Rona is no different than any group member that has stayed for years and years and years. When they put your name into the Hollywood Walk of Fame or in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they announce the original members. You can Google in vogue right now today. They're gonna say they're American group whose original lineup consists of a whatever. When it comes down to the Sylvia Ron thing, when they all reunited as five, Ron, the uh, original four ladies all look like in Vogue. Rona was standing there in a black dress, 
trying her best to squat down to their height. You, you know what? I she, want because when I saw them come on the Wendy Williams show, I was like, what is going on? And I <laughs> made a point to go and look. It wasn't no, because that it was a shady cameraman over there. It was a lot of it was a lot going on. So I went and I checked, and let me tell you this. <laughs> Where else? Because now in Vogue is no joke, and dance wise choreography and really being in step, yeah. everybody mm -hmm. like. And so, how do you find? It's not Rona' fault that she is the only person that could keep up with them. That ain't how we can't be mad at Rona for that. No, no, no. I mean, nobody's de degrading uh, anything about like when I oh, say. No, you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. Well, I'm not no, but that what I'm saying in general is. She's good at what she does, no doubt. But how is it? And I, I was asking everybody individually, how do you think that a person like Don, from her view, coming back to the group, whereas we already had problems. So anytime we come for a reunion, we have to go down memory lane anyway to get us back to being together. Okay. Now we throw somebody, another person in the mix of where we really broke up. Because the truth of it is, if we would have got together and kept it cohesive, the four of us, and she would have never came. Look, look, look. At Can this I just point, mention this part too? At, oh, oh just going to say it real quick. At this point, part. like y'all saying, Rona is consistent. And I think that is the answer to all of those questions. And at this point, we just want to see in Vogue, and y'all should be able to pop in and pop out. Okay, it's gonna be a five man group tonight. Right. It's gonna be a three man. This week is gonna be two only to whoever can make it, and just kind of we all yeah, know the they, song. Can do, they, they can do spot dates because again, they they did that in '08 where they did a group with the, with the originals, then they did a show with uh, with Rona. I feel I like take spot what I can get. I, I, think, I, think, I think that that dynamic probably would have worked before, but now that you have two members of the group that own the name, that own the right. group, they own the name. Not shady, 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 not shady all the way around. Trust. I'm being a shade to this one. I'm being a shade to this one. I'm sorry. Like I, I rarely pull them down now, but I, that was shady. And I'm here to tell you another uh, thing I feel about this uh, issue is that I, I'm sorry. I fought Celia. Like I thought Tommy and Denny because Tommy and Denny did one thing. If you look at what Tommy and Denny has said about their interactions with Sylvia, it makes sense. I don't think that Tommy and Denny had anything ill against these ladies at all when he put them together, when they put them together. I really think that he did, those two guys did exactly what they intended to do, whether it was Matthew and the other member uh, the other part of the duo or the two of them, Tommy and Denny. What they did was let's put together a female group. Let's see what worked with the others. Let's see what didn't work. And that's how we're going to put this group together. Terry shows up. Let's put her in too. But the thing that happened was is that they had a non-negotiable contract. Yeah. Now, mm. we understand what that means. That means at the end of the day, Dawn, no matter how you feel about this, <laughs> you cannot negotiate. However, I thought that I was about to say it's night, but I'm not. I thought the manager at the time, because the manager at the time, who cares about the contract? If you're a savvy business, I mean, uh, attorney or manager, you understand how you can get through that. And that's the thing. Nobody was backing up in vogue. Mm -hmm. And that's how you feel about it. Sylvia was not supporting these but ladies. At the same she, time, it's like it is 2023. Okay, and I'm just a little perspective. I believe I was in like the third grade when the Give Me Some You Can Feel came out. We have got mm. to build a bridge. But the bridge is that you still over. don't respect the fact that now, okay, then let's go back to the shade. Just you're what do y'all want today? I think everybody should just be able to everybody should be able to come to the table and just say what is it that you want Terry today? And, 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 and um, let's leave it at that. I'm what y'all want now? You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sorry. I apologize. I was speaking of you. I apologize. No, I'm just saying, what, what, what can we do now? Because I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing with you. And I'm just like, <laughs> where can we do? What can we do today? Because it's yeah. never going to get resolved. We're never gonna. We're not gonna agree on what happened in the past. It was because too much stuff going on, and everybody' memory getting foggy anyway. It's a lack of respect. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, respect 
on everyone's part. <laughs> understand, organize I'm just here to crazy. instigate y'all. That's why T, T. Lee is the good cop, and what she did was. <laughs> oh, you got de- okay. You the devil, devil, devil's advocate. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm not. I'm just instigating. I know, <laughs> but you know, think about it. If we're talking about going back to egos again with every all girl groups, we're not. We just love in vogue. I think that's the thing we have in common. But um, the thing is, is that though. When you're in a group and then you're coming together for a reunion and you not you haven't hashed out the problems that you had 20, 30 years ago. That's right. That's it right. It still lingers. It still lingers. That's the thing right. is, is that you cannot come in and diss Tommy and Denny, right? And say, well, this writer and this producer gave us the biggest hits of our careers. Baby, he gave you six number ones. Mm. So would I rather have six number ones or would I rather have one huge hit single? You see what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can't diss Tommy and Denny about anything like that. Tommy and Denny failed to do one thing. When they saw the winning horse, they should have gave him more than sugar. That's all yeah. I'm saying. When yeah. they saw them, they should have said, there's a lot of money involved for you guys and for us. We understand that you signed a non-negotiable contract, but this is a winning horse. So how about we regroup, we reorganize some things so everybody at the end of the day can get paid. That's the only thing I feel yeah, like probably. Tommy and Danny did to those ladies. When that manager stepped out on them and said, hey, it's a conflict of interest, blah, blah, blah. When you guys hash things out together, you come back and and, and then uh, uh, hire me back as your manager. I wouldn't have did that. I was like, well, if you can't help me now, you can't help me then. So, I mean, you couldn't help me then, you can't help me now. And I think that's the problem that kind of festered. And I think Sylvia, being the savvy business lady she is, st- sitting back on the uh, sidelines and basically said, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this to, you know, implode. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Why? Because now I have, because there's another issue in this dynamic. And that will be between Sylvia, Tommy, and Denny. Because Mm -hmm. those three buddy did from day one. And I'm here to tell you, Sylvia Ron has a track record. When you don't do what she wants, she's done with you. Mm -hmm. But she couldn't do that with In Vogue. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we love them. We rushed out. We purchased their records. DJs flocked to play their music. People invited them on their shows, this, that, and the other. And I'm here to tell you, how is it that the Funky Divas record could be their biggest record and she didn't like it? Tommy and Denny are saying that she did not promote it. They promoted it themselves. And when it caught fire, just like other singles or other albums do in the business, then they try to put money behind it. Sylvia was waiting. She well, here's got- the thing. She can we can it. we get the same management team or whoever got new edition back together because Johnny what? Gill and Bobby Brown they switch out they <laughs> all might be on stage some of them might on stage hey I enjoyed all it. that so can can we can we do that I love Rona I love you Rona I love you <laughs> one of the best groups in the world that ever did interchangeable people you have to remember there's this Hispanic group called Menudo. Oh, I remember yeah. Menudo. They used to come on Saturday morning cartoons. Age. You only got to be a certain age and you got to go. And yeah. Somebody else comes in. You get a certain yeah. age, you got to go. Somebody yeah, else. I remember them. The group, they're, still the, they're still around and they still operate under the same principle. How can that group be successful since I was, what, a teenager when they were right. out? I remember when the Menudo was out. Let me yeah. ask you guys this. So when... um. We're talking about escape and how well that their comeback has been. I think social media and their own individual projects coming together has a lot to do with that. Mm-hmm. Is it possible in Vogue and people in their situation can cut out the middleman, maybe do more of their own management or promotion? Or- it's well, too late. It, Terry it, 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 it got it, 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 sold up. It, Terry it, and Cindy it, has it sold up. It's I, if, I, if, I could, if, if I could say this, this is my thing. And, and it goes back to my original original question because I agree with Kiki when she says what can we do now see not only did they have a problem then they got a problem now because if y'all want to give Rona her flowers how is it we got an extra person to split money with Right. So we go back to the drawing board again. Uh, we already got strike because one of us got sued. One of us is claiming to get put out. 
right now, what can we do now is different because of the fact of ego. Okay, I, let me ask you this. So were, were the other two girls, well, Terry and Cindy, were they supposed to just stay a duo and kind of wait to see how it plays out? Is that the issue that they picked up another member? Because Maxine, no, it, it's, it's not it's not necessarily the issue. It's the fact that when you go now, y'all touring off of nostalgia purposes. So y'all doing karaoke anyway. If the original you. people that's on the record ain't on there right. and y'all singing it, y'all yeah, doing they karaoke. Have new, they have new albums. And they, no they, 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 just, they just went on a tour singing all of their hits. Didn't nobody ask them to sing Rocket. Didn't nobody ask them to sing anything current. They sang on when they did the the uh, the S, the salt and pepper thing in 2018. They sang back. They lip synced to their track with Don's vocals all over it. They couldn't oh. even do the ad libs. No. Oh. Wow. Oh, if I can go go to YouTube and pull that yes. up because the, oh wow I'm because sorry but the thing is, because what it when it comes down to it is it's oh, not wow. necessary and my thing of it is they've done it at time like y'all saying uh, new additions manager Brooke Payne actually did bring them together in 08 and they stayed together for four years and when they did in 08 they did do it where because the lineup was Cindy Terry Rona and Maxine. Mm -hmm. Well, they did some shows with, with uh, Don, and then they did some shows with Rona. Well, I feel like, to me, that would be the only resolution to the deal. Uh, yeah. To mm -hmm. me, because of the fact of it is, we already know why, if we're going to move forward, and we're trying to dust from the past, we're going to have to somewhere meet in the middle. Yeah. And her coming in, and then just like I was listening, I think it was on Chike's interview. When she kept done, kept saying about harmony, she leaned down and she said, "Now, it, I know that she's supposed to be singing on Terry's part, but it's hard to even vo to vocally come back together after being away so long. We already got business issues. Now we got an image issue because you don't look like we do nothing against Rona. Rona's a beautiful girl, but she the image of what they represent." She don't have plus. They've always sang three part harmony, almost three to two. So you got five girls on three parts. There go another ego issue waiting to happen. Then you got the 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 thing that kills me about it is I, I'm not knocking because Ro has been a, a nothing you can say when I'm talking about a nice girl. But when you're talking about a resolution. The only resolution I can see for them trying to do, because these are women, as long as they're alive, are going to be asked about a reunion. That's any group. The only way that they're going to do it is if they be able to split it up. I even came to Ro personally and was like, look here, maybe one of them, you open up with your solo stuff, uh, yeah. uh, Max open up with hers, this, that, and the third. One of the other original members, she was like, no. Nah. If we gonna do it, we gonna do this right. She What's said. No, she said. She said it flat out. No, we ain't gonna do it like that. I'm like, well, that would have been a resolution. But right. the deal of it is, they didn't pop off like New Edition, y'all. Rona didn't come in and get a can you right. stand the rain. No. She so if no. she, so if she's no. gonna be there, what's she coming? But if I was Rona, who's already had a career before in Vogue and have done things, what I want to come to a reunion when the four of y'all are all together just so I can sing background. That's a new no. no, 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 here's the thing is that Johnny Gill had a career before he came into New Edition. But yes. he had a hit with New Edition. She ain't got no hit with Involved. Okay, so oh, okay that's true. true. Here's but, another but, example. Remember Floetry? Didn't Floetry replace a member? Yeah, yeah, they, replaced, yeah. they replaced uh uh old girl with uh Amanda Seals. Amanda Seals was in Floetry for a second. And y'all weren't right. having that either, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry, you. I, I, I get it now. You know, Invoke has some cold blooded fans. I understand it now. I, I do. No, really, I get it. <laughs> but, uh, but my point was this: 
if the four original four came out right Rona would be the opening act so who really cares about the opening act right because at the end of the day she's just getting paid and somebody's coming to see her right that's what i was saying she can open the that's show cool. she can still get paid and when but it's time for her to probably come in and do some songs that they want terry seen some of her solo stuff in the uh, show right so why is it that Rona could not step in. She's still billed as, hey, she's the opening act to info. That's right. all I'm saying. Well, but I agree exactly with that. Now, I actually brought up that thing to all of them do it because Maxine has solo music out. Right. I mean, all of them could have spent off. But again, when you ain't got them hits on the record, see, Johnny Gill can always step out and do my, my, my. I think my, Bobby, yeah. my but when you don't have no hit, all you touring off of is the old hits, the nostalgia. You have to look at it from that box. But okay, well, here's the thing. Okay, here's my... Oh, the brand in Vogue. We're coming to see in Vogue. I don't care if we think that Dawn is going to come out and sing a little bit and the other less. I'm looking at the fact it's in Vogue. When in Vogue is on the uh, bill, we're coming to see in Vogue. We don't care how the show necessarily looks. I'm sorry, Shannon. I think she was about to say something, but that's not... My point is the brand is in vogue. We came to see. I, it. I, I get, I, I get what you're saying uh, totally. It's the brand. It's all about. But again, when you have an ensemble group, group people already have their favorites anyway, regardless if it's a lead singer or not. But when you got an ensemble group, you have to remember if you're gonna get, take it all the way back to '97, when Don leaving in vogue was a big thing. A yep. huge thing. That yep. was no no hush hush mm -hmm. little si situation that happened. So when you look at it from that that perspective, they would have needed somebody who would have taken the group up higher if they were going to. Because as long as the four of them are the only people who sang on the hit records, that's going to always be the biggest issue. That's a simple wrong issue. I'm sorry. <laughs> So can I say this? Because as you were all talking, I was thinking about what Brownstone and In Vogue have in common, and with the with the interchangeable members and having that mm -hmm. that legacy and the history, and part of it is the signature sound. Dawn was a part of a In Vogue signature sound. That's mm -hmm. correct. It was not on all of the songs that are famous that we all love. Dawn's voice is on them. Dawn yes. has key parts in all those songs. Those mm -hmm. songs aren't going to be what they are without her on them. They're different. Mm -hmm. They're authentic. They're changed. Right. People that are fans, like we are fans, I, I personally don't want to hear it unless Dawn is on it. I'm not interested. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. right. The it, thing you, that makes Brownstone different is because Nikki is the signature that, fan. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's there the it difference. is. That's right. That's right. But exactly. the other lady left because she said she couldn't deal with Nikki. I'm talking about the first lady. And, but and Nikki is the lead. That's probably true. And I wanted to say this to that effect. If you are 22, 23, right? And you are on the only group that Michael Jackson has signed to his label and you're huh. as successful as you are, right? That's your legacy. You now own the name of it. Wouldn't mm. you protect it with everything that you have? Yes. Uh, and so then we can't fault JoJo for talking about the 7-Elevens and the uh, hookers. Oh, right. <laughs> but Shannon, I'm sorry. I think I talked over it. Shannon, you went out. You was making a comment. I, and it was cut off. Did you say what you was going to say, Shannon? I, no, but I didn't forget what it was because I didn't got engrossed in what everybody else was saying. <laughs> I, just, I, I, just, I know I'm loud, but I just didn't want to make sure you got in. Please don't, please don't hate me, y'all. Please don't hate me. I, I, no, hate you. Hate you. No, I, I get everyone's point. I do, and I hate to say it, I'm a diehard. I really do think it's the original four. But I'm sorry when I I like someone and I like what they bring. It's just what it is. I think it just would be. I uh, Rona has dealt with dealt with so much. I'm sure being in this group, especially from a fan perspective. Think about it. You go on stage every day, and somebody's constantly reminding you that you are not you know the original member and what do you bring and contribute to this group and i'm sorry i that's that's why i'm in a corner i'm always for the well, I'm if, if, I may, if i can add on to that for just a minute i i get that because i always thought ro I, i'm telling you she could come in 
And she's about the only person I've ever known that came in and sang other people's parts her way. I, I get that I, it, just to see something different. Okay. But if you ain't a, ain't a, a core audience from the general public's perspective that ain't kept up with In Vogue for years, the only people you know is four girls. That's that was the end, almost the end. When it comes down the road, as a person, I can see how that would be disrespectful. I thought it was disrespectful when they did it in 08. But again, that was a decision made by Cindy, Terry, and Maxine. It it's was done wrong. twice. It was right. done twice. So, Ro, how valuable do you see and feel that you are? Now, don't get me wrong. I understand she coming to cut a check. I get that. But right now, let's keep it real. Don and Maxine, I don't care if they own the name or not. For real, for real, if they want to, they should always have the honor and the respect of saying, this is our 30th anniversary. Let us do a tour. And Don said it out of her own mouth on numerous of interviews. She said, well, when is y'all's anniversary? We'll step out. She said, before a time where we first came together, let us have our time with our fans. That's all we said. She said she ain't did nothing to me. I ain't got nothing against her. But again, but again, Rona, you should be. If I walk, if I was Rona and I walked in the room and I and, and Cindy, Terry, Don, and Maxine is already there. Woo! I'm gonna tell you. Guess what? Call me if you need me. Cause <laughs> guess what? I, ain't no sense of me trying to argue my place in this. And I, I think a lot I, of that see, that's the thing. I don't think she has, and I wish she would. But I don't think I don't. Ain't think no need. Gonna, ain't I no need because <laughs> the deal of it is, ain't no. It's not like like I said for Johnny Gill. He has a right to stand there, and he took that group and did something while it was making hits. Again, when Rona. Joined the group. She joined the group when they was on the Chitlin circuit in two thousand and three. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, hey, that's not dedication. I'm, I'm that's sure not dedication. Exactly. If and that's I'm sure not dedication. Has if that's not Rona has deals, has deals. deals. She has obligations. So it's like you know, uh, maybe, maybe seventeen years ago, I didn't mind popping in, popping out, all of that. But I need stability now in my life. Okay. So there you go. Years, no, you over here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Assuming that she has a relationship too, uh, with you know that bond with these three women, right. you know the three yeah. of them together, and that's not fair as a friend. This this is the type yeah. of stuff that women do where they won't get along. It would be nice, but if they you kicked her out. out. So as a fan, as a fan, they kicked her out. But let me not say as a fan. If I was a musical doctor, right, and Ingo came to me sick and needed help. Oh Lord, my <laughs> ex to them should have been. You need to create a hit, and Rona needs to be on the lead. That Thank way, you yes. establish yourself yes. in a brand new way. With this new member, yeah. and you justify her being there. That, that's some it. people that's don't it. want it. Some people don't. No, want it. <laughs> <laughs> some people don't want no, it. no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, the foundation has already been laid. All the the two of them has hit. already been laid, but the same thing. It's thing already been laid. Been what can she do to laid. help them now? They no, are in their sixties, dude. I don't believe that what happened in the past is not going to happen again. Mm. I don't believe that they're going to get together and it's going to be all roses and they're going to just ride off into the sunset. <laughs> they ain't got to together, right. give them okay? six, now, give them six wait, months this is, to this do. What they need to do. Like, this is what they need to do. They need to call Cisco and find out whatever the hell he doing and do that. <laughs> <laughs> That part. He's got enough group members. <laughs> right. Well, he ain't got everybody back because Woody ain't back either. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> off from that. Yes, y'all. You know, I'm walking He's away understanding. In Vogue has a tough fan base. It's just what it is, and I accept it. I am so sorry. <laughs> I apologize to every In Vogue fan I've ever offended because I'm gonna tell you, I ain't nobody get that. Navigated individuals here, but I will say this though, really. I think we want to follow. Okay, ooh, here's a thought. So remember, I'm not going to say what member it was, but one member said that, well, Terry's in our back pocket. Dawn is all over the place. Yeah. Cindy doesn't have a clue. And Maxine, you are easily replaceable. Yeah. Now, if that in, in fact is true, and then we're going back to what we mentioned about these 
So if we're going back to these male created girl groups, right? So then I'm saying to myself, how could you say that? Even to Maxine, when look what she contributed on the fucking deepest record. Yeah. How could you say that someone who was really the fourth member of the group and she goes to the lead of the group like overnight yeah. so to, see, to the point where that fucking divas um, uh, album and that look was totally recreated they really reinvented themselves with yeah. that fucking divas yeah, record so i'm saying all that to say how is it that someone can come along to any other four members and say something so disrespectful about them that's number one number two when when you're about to renegotiate Okay, and you telling Dawn that I want two years. We're putting your uh, your uh, project on the back burner. Then you let her leave, or you tell her she's gone. Then you shade her in the media. Mm. Okay? That's something totally different. But now we're talking about marketing and all of that stuff. In Vogue decided, whoever it was, whether if it was Sylvia, the three of the ladies, or the two uh, producers, whoever decided we're going to continue as a trio, we don't want to bring in a fourth member. We don't want to look like we're replacing Dawn because she has a fan base, maybe. That's what was said. I don't know. I'm not throwing out things. Or they just probably said we can soldier on. Whatever the case may be, I do know one thing. Sylvia dropped those ladies with that EV3 record. She dropped them. Every plan that she had in place for those ladies, right. she totally dropped them. So my thing is, is that I thought Sylvia would arrive by sort of way because she knew what she had when she had done. Right. And she should have kept her. She should have said, uh, she should have done something to ease Dawn. So, so uh, Karim, I just want to add something to what you're saying. You, with all what you're saying, but we all have to keep in mind, that album came out with the three ladies with all the vocals still on the still album. on the track there you go all yeah. the vocals there you go That's and so i'm all that to say she they could have done something where i'm saying they they were really in a jam if you think about it because how do they pursue uh this record the way they're doing it i understand that i really truly do but what i'm saying is sylvia didn't have to drop these ladies like that that's what i'm saying Invo still could have went on to that Destiny's Child status, but Sylvia was no longer interested in these ladies, and she proved that with the Masterpiece record when it came out, and she told these ladies, goodbye. I don't think that they wanted the intelligence that was happening. They did not want the smart women no, who wanted what they wanted they for wanted themselves. They wanted to dumb down. They were yeah, of course, yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's right. That, that's true. Well, we got our answers, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm yeah. Now I want to interject. I'm sorry, Sylvia. I'm sorry, Sylvia. Yeah, and I, I want to interject and I want to talk to Sylvia because um, everything that was said was, I totally agree with everything that was said, but I want to talk to Sylvia and I want to, mm -hmm. because the girls are going to, the, the girls, the women, they are working on their biopic now. And all mm -hmm. of the members are on board and, and all of that. But my, mm -hmm. my commission to Sylvia Ron is this. You left Don in that room, in that hotel room. Mm. You left that woman wounded. Mm -hmm. mm. You traumatized her and you left her wounded. Yes, you did. And if you want, mm -hmm. if we want to get what we want about it, you have to go back and ask for forgiveness. Yeah. You have to go back and make those things right. Because in my opinion, I'm not licensed like you, Kiki Green. I'm not licensed like you, Kareem Jones. But I am licensed in the Holy Ghost and in the Lord. And when go ahead, to go ahead. The matters of the heart, Dawn was broken in many pieces that day in the hotel room. And T. Lee, I want to add to what you're saying, post-traumatic stress disorder. That's yes. what happened to her getting into these deals with all these other people. She did not want to exactly. go through what she went through before. She lived it. She doesn't want to do it. Exactly. Right. And again, again, my thing, my thing of, of that situation, even them coming together for this biopic and, uh, you know, even hearing in the media, it still will take some time for it to get finished because, you know, biopics don't go, it's supposed to be a mini series, but for whatever, it, you know, different nights, which, you know, that's going to be something, but again, it still takes that foundation to come together. In order for the story to be told, all I'm saying is, I feel for Don in the wounded and Maxine. Let me let me Maxine say that even well. for Maxine yes. too, yes. because I feel for Maxine when it comes down to, I was there 
it, mm. on the audition day. I was the one of the four. These people picked us four to to start in here. I was there when our name was for you, and then they changed it to in vogue. And now all of a sudden, you tell me, as I'm talking about coming forward to 2022 all the way to 23. You tell me that I don't have a right in the group that I'm in. What about when they reunited and they were told, Don and Maxine were told they could not promote and go on stage as Funky Divas. And that's the album they sing the most lead on. Cindy and Terry mm -hmm. now own that copyright. If I'm lying, look it up. My yeah, only the reason right. is when it comes down to it, this is my thing. How can you have stripped them? It, 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 and, and what I don't like about what people say is they left or this happened or give it kudos to so-and-so that don't make Cindy and Terry right for staying and it don't make Don and Maxine right for leaving it it's a it's a thing with the four of them because yeah. they are still right now today they still alive all of them still sing and as long as they still alive to tell that story they have made a mark in history the four of them yeah. i'm not saying now right now today let cindy and terry retire and they get new members in that group when they put their name in, in in years from now when the world is talking about a group called in vogue cindy terry don and maxine yeah. their names will be mentioned i don't care who replaced who if you ain't on a record that's anybody's group if you ain't Just on that record, talk about them plaques that are on the wall that are in platinum whose names are on them Exactly. Who's on them? Even exactly. on the Hollywood Walk of Fame two days ago, don't you know Spinderella had a, 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 a right underneath them? She had her name on them. Do you not know that it's a, it's a certain in vogue uh, support that says they can't understand, uh, they, they love Rona and all that she's kept the train going, but they want to tell Spinderella she should get on with her life. Somebody, and the only thing she's ever done was do What a Man, not knowing that Spinderella has produced on records, was in music videos, performed, mm -hmm. dance, and DJ. Mm -hmm. and that's you trying to tell her because yeah. her name ain't so, without, and even that group, without Spinderella, you see two ladies that's in their sixties talking about push it. Now, even yeah. though they all are up in age, it makes sense to see sixty-year-old women all still doing what they were known to do because the picture right. is complete. It's about yeah. image yeah. because you you never will chart to number one again. Usually, usually, yeah. never again. You probably won't do that. So if you're gonna tour, you're gonna tour off your hits. So with that yeah. being said. If everybody's still alive, it makes sense for us to do stuff together. When they inducted them them dresses in the Smithsonian, Rona came and took a picture with them in front of the case. But then they moved her out of the way so that Cindy and Terry could take pictures because those were their dresses. Yeah. And when Salt and Pepper did two days ago or three days ago, when they got their star, Cindy and Terry came to represent for in vogue by themselves rona was not there when maxine just got a, an award don't you know that cindy and terry congratulated her even though she had sang with rona because the foundation is cindy terry don and maxine mm -hmm. and you cannot out and what i don't understand is how can you try to make and as good and as talented and as and when I tell you that I have nothing but respect for Rona, nothing but. But I don't understand how they try to make her as equal as them. The foundation has already been made. Well, don't I don't think, think they make her equal. I think they use her to spike Dawn and Maxine.